Hello, gorgeous. Please excuse the microphone situation. I just moved here and I'm getting used to the setup. My name is Gia. I post high quality living and elegant style. Stay until the very end. I have a very important message you're not going to want to miss out. Subscribe and click the bell because I have the most wonderful subscribers. You lovelies are all beautiful. You are kind, intelligent, and so much fun to talk to. Subscribe. It's totally free. I will also start to have Monday live chats where we discuss a topic if you're interested. You can comment below any subject that we can discuss. It can be controversial, but just make sure it's within YouTube guidelines. Here are American brands I have been loving and shopping for years in my adult life. These are going to be style items, mostly clothing, accessories, shoes, bags, etc. I will also create a whole video dedicated to beauty another time. So subscribe and click the bell to get notified. Why American brands? If you're asking, during the Panini Panorama Banana, imp importing and exporting was impossible. Literally the whole nation shut down and we looked into our small businesses and whatever American businesses, not knowing if we should trust the quality. So here are some high quality brands to get started and scratch the surface. And also remember that large brands started off as small businesses too. Uh, business is someone's dream. As a business owner myself, many times over in the first three to four years, you do not make money and it's very, very hard. The first brand is J. Crew. I'm literally in head to toe J. Crew right now. I'm wearing pajamas, pajama bottoms, but I have the top here <laughs> because I didn't want to look like I'm completely wearing pajamas in a video. They're cashmere. I have a whole video of my J. Crew cashmere collection linked below. It's literally my whole wardrobe collection of cashmere that I wear every single day. This is really high quality. It's really affordable. I literally buy gifts for everyone. I also have a luxurious gift guide, very, very soft and it's lightweight and it drapes on your body. The, one of the most flattering materials I've ever experienced that is also high quality where I'll, I notice a lot of people, I can tell right away if they're wearing polyester or sometimes if I touch a jacket. Yesterday at the mall, I was touching this jacket. It felt like polyester immediately. This drapes on your body where other materials are really stiff. Same with their pajamas. I've invested in so many really high quality J. Crew pajamas because they're so soft. Look how slinky this is. It's like a stretching material that's really soft. It falls on your body. It's really comfortable. It's warm. Every year for the holidays, I give uh, my husband a pair of pajamas and we have them monogrammed. And J. Crew, you can personalize and customize a lot of your sweaters. Like this can be monogrammed, but I chose not to. They also have the monogram in a weird area. It's up here. And I feel like monogram should be down here so that if you open your jacket to pay, then people see who um, is paying. And that's the very very old school etiquette rule and I'm an etiquette consultant after all. Next is LL Bean. So I have a ton of their stuff. I'm literally just took this off my shoe right now. Their stuff is high quality that the only way to get rid of their things is to literally resell it because they never die. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite brands that I have their sweater. My husband recently as a, a housewarming gift, got me this incredible cable knit zip cardigan. Their styles are like styles that I have been searching for a very long time. And then I go on their store and I find all the styles that I'm looking for in my head on their store. So it's like they're reading my mind and they have this really utilitarian yet still elegant put together style. And it's also very family friendly. So if you have little ones, they have the cutest things for everybody in the family. And I think they make great gifts and I think they make great everyday wear. So if you work outside or if you garden, if I could represent America, like the people, it's LL Bean, the American dream. So the next brand is Madame Le Fleur. So I found this brand recently because I negotiated <laughs> this huge deal. I got this in every color. <laughs> most, most of the colors, there's like one color that I didn't buy. I was looking for silk and high quality silk that was from an American brand because silk is usually from China and there's a lot of it starts with a G and it rhymes with schmenesmide going on right now with the government that they're doing it to their own people, putting people in death camps and prison camps and literally sterilizing people and forcing abortions on people uh, because they want to tailor a, a part of their population. And I don't think that's right. I was looking for American brands and I'm having this hard time because a lot of things are sourced from China or India where there's a lot of conflicts. In India, there's like a huge trading uh, problem. There has been for years in China, this Shemenish mind has been going on for years and a curtailing of a generation of, of, a, of a whole tribe of people from the Han Chinese are, are doing this to the Uyghurs. I was at Burlap and Birch, this home decor store yesterday at the mall. There were these sticks. Literally, my husband and I went to the Arboretum and there was this huge, beautiful stick that came from a tree that someone was hiking with and they left it by the stand where the map is at, at the Arboretum. And then we went to the store to see that they were selling similar sticks. 
and we looked closely and I have video of it, it said made in China. And it really upset me because it's like, we're importing our sticks now? Are you kidding me? If I'm supporting American brands, at least, at least I'm supporting the big jobs here. So like all the marketing, all the graphic designers, all the, the designers themselves, all the janitors at the place, all the people who are doing every single little job, each of those people count. Supporting them is my ultimate goal, but I'm, I'm still looking at uh, American sourced materials brands that have these things and not a lot of them do this brand has a lot of american designers and a lot of them are immigrants too it's called madame le fleur but it's spelled mm le fleur like if you read french that's how you abbreviate madame this is silk and it's a long sleeve polo and it's something that it looks really smart though it's casual it's not something you wear to work unless you work at a very very casual place i don't not i do not recommend it but i wear this day to day literally every day and i work from home for the most part uh, aside from that it is so luxurious it's so comfy it's like that old money aesthetic and then the bottom is ribbed where it, this is usually like $500 in an English shirt making store I have a whole video linked below that you can check out of the full review they work with a charity also that supports women who and help them get jobs so this brand is woman owned and it's supporting women in the workspace a lot of professional clothes and I wear a lot of professional looking clothes but the truth is this is what i wear every single day like look at this and they have such high quality designs and they have a lot of innovative designs too so next i'm gonna count this to be american north american so it is north american it's canadian this brand called smythe and they have very equestrian inspired style very english and that's something i love and this is a rifle patch blazer oh 71 percent linen 29% cotton, the lining is acetate, 35% cupro, dry clean only. I thought this was wool, honest to goodness. It's 71% linen, 29% cotton. So it's two different types of cottons. And this is real leather. You can tell by the way it's draped. Uh, made in Canada, which I absolutely love. So every time I go on Smythe, I'm drooling constantly on their website and everything is always sold out in my size which is frustrating so i love all their designs and if i shop for a blazer no matter how smart for work no matter for cocktails no matter for outdoors so this is very elegant this is obviously for horse riding it's an equestrian jacket because you can tell it gets rounded here and that's how it was designed when it comes to riding horses you want to be able to ride and the lapel the what do you call it? the jacket does not get in the way it's perfect for shooting too if you want to rest your rifle here so that you don't damage the jacket and the wood doesn't splint into your herringbone look at this incredible quality and it feels weighty too and it's so warm and they have really beautiful unique buttons they have a ton of different neutral styles and they have a ton of Paris tweeds and tatrasol tartans and twills and they are my favorite materials especially when you live in a place that has four seasons this will definitely do you some good and make you look so elegant when you're riding a horse or when you're out in the countryside or if you're visiting or if you're looking at some land and looking to purchase it's got elbow patches too but you can also get them at bloomingdale's at revolve at all these other de department stores that i'm obsessed with personally so check them out they're always getting sold out and they always have new designs and they always get restocked so don't worry about that i cannot tell you enough I'm, I'm buying every color, I'm buying every design. Tommy Hilfiger is a brand that I have been shopping in literally since I was a child. I have baby photos of me wearing Tommy Hilfiger. And then I also, as a teenager, had a lot of the underwears for some reason. They were always like ma matching sets and unstructured jackets. So the top is structured. It does have the pads in the shoulders, but it is a very casual jacket. So this is a light blush pink with navy polka dots. And then it has navy shoulder pads. The reason, oh, and the buttons, like the hardware is, probably some alloy but it says Tommy Hilfiger little emblem here it's very American however it does say made in Vietnam um, <laughs> this, I can move around in it and it's stretchy it's comfortable and it's really chic and it's very like red white and blue sometimes not, not to look like super patriotic a couple years ago Tommy Hilfiger came back on the map as like a streetwear kind of brand and was trendy but I definitely feel like it's one of those heritage American brands that represents the style is very recognizable across the board so like if you go to japan and you see someone wearing tommy hilfiger you definitely know right away that that's the style next is cult gaia i have the dora Car dora knit cardigan review linked below i tried on a few of their dresses and i feel like i need to be a little bit taller and this is very much my style years ago i do not dress this way much anymore i used to be this really artsy person <laughs> long story short i still am artsy but in a very different way now i constantly get 
compliments on. This is the pearl. And the problem is, is the brass is, the hardware is getting a little rusty. So I think this is from sweat. So just as a heads up, this is gonna start to come off and I have to talk to Cult Gaia about how to varnish this or, or somehow mitigate the situation. Excuse me, they have variations of this bag. I think they have like a black one. Carry it like this. You can carry it like this. You can carry it like this. And it fits into the crook of your arm. I do not believe in carrying clutches under your armpit. So this is very much a one of a kind heirloom piece that you can inherit to someone, to your daughter or to your granddaughter or to anybody whom you love in your family. This is just very small. It's definitely an evening bag meant for being in the moment and you can't really take pictures with your phone because your phone will not fit in here. What I end up doing is asking my husband to put my phone in his pocket. A heads up, this is very much an in the moment bag is what I like to call it because it doesn't fit many things except for probably your lip balm, your keys, and your ID. Next is Gap. This is a brand that I have been shopping in since I was a little kid. And I remember when I was little, I got scouted and my mom, took me to Gap to look for jeans because I had to do, it was a Gap jeans commercial. Ever since I have always loved Gap. I, lo I shopped at Gap way before and as a little kid and I would always get gifts from Gap that were sweatshirts and hats and I wear this hat all the time. I think it's so chic. It's very American. It's got the baseball cap and it has the giant logo. I'm not a fan of huge logos, but this I will wear because this is my working hat. So like if I'm outside, I do yard work. This is what I wear. If I don't wear like a huge hat, a huge sun hat. Perfect if I also wanna hide my hair and I wanna go hiking without being noticed like this. I also have a lot of gap shirts. So gap underwear and pajamas for the winter. So like long underwears and it's really comfy, it's really high quality. When I touch it, I feel like the thread is so thick. Well made is what I want to say. Next is Tory Burch. I remember my husband got me this mini Radzi Will and it looks so elegant. I love, I, okay, this is a love hate bag because here's how you lock it. And then it takes like 10 minutes to open it up and you can't open it this way because it's so secure and I have no nails. So you have to open it like a milk carton by the sides. So it's kind of annoying. It doesn't fit everything all the time. And when I do put my phone in it, I have to like rearrange everything else that's in it. Otherwise it will not close. But this is the thing I love about this bag because it's another in the moment bag where you really have to pay attention to the people around you, your company and what you're doing versus being on your phone. It also helps with my proportions. I'm petite, I'm five, two and a half. Large bags are only for utility for me. So if I'm going to the airport and I need a bunch of things, like a, a shoulder pillow and an iPad, it, I'll put that in a tote or a satchel. It's not something I wear day to day. This is something I prefer to wear day to day. Very, very simple when I go out. I don't like to have a bunch of clutter. And this also has a crossbody. And Tory Burch, I have been looking at their wool trousers and their shawl cardigans, except for the fact that I just bought wool trousers and cardigans. When uh, those are done, I will go to Tory Burch and purchase their her ready to wear. And they are things that I wear every single day. So I absolutely love that. Her designs with her activewear are really stunning and personally I have a ton of activewear as it is. Her designs are for like going to the country club I feel like. I found a country club here that I can join so I think that's a really good excuse to buy more Tory Burch. His next brand was founded in California and it's literally called California Pack. Cal Pack. So I have a ton of their luggage and I have it in a separate video. I'll create a whole review of their luggage and I put it in a gift guide I think I'll have it linked below so uh, you can see all the stuff that I have from Cal Pack. I have literally a lifetime's worth of luggage <laughs> and accessories for travel from that them. They have thought of everything that I've ever wanted in luggage when it comes to style, when it comes to utility, when it comes to actually being high quality. I know someone personally who used to work at an airport and they said the luggage handlers wrote like just chuck your stuff across the room and they don't care. So either buy really, really cheap uh, cotton canvas luggage or get like a remova, but it's still gonna get dented <laughs> if you don't travel private. And um, I thought it was really funny because he said they literally just throw it and don't care and just smash it around and deliberately do it because they don't care. Calpac has helped me not only move, Calpac has helped me travel all over the world, multiple continents. I love how organized they help me be when it comes to their tech organization. They think of all the things that I haven't even thought of when it comes to traveling. Car organizer, so if you have a ton of groceries, they have beautiful colors of every single option you can think of with different designs. I only buy 
the rose gold <laughs> so everything i have from them is mostly pink they have a silk mask that comes with a silk shoulder pillow every time i use calpac i get tons of compliments all day long at the airport next is sam edelman edelman these are the Lorraine loafers I want to say. I needed something that covered the top of my feet because it's cold here and also because it looks so smart I can wear this to work every single day. All the styles are so comfortable for the price that you're paying. You're definitely getting more than your money's worth and it's definitely luxury to me because it's so well made. It's real leather and I think the bottom is also leather and it's glued not stitched but it does have like a stitch design which is weird. However, I'm not mad at it because for what you're paying for, you're definitely getting more bang for your buck. The quality is always insane. I always buy things from them that are real leather. I love the design. They're always timeless. Everything they have from years ago that I've had from them, super, super comfy. I have these heels that are the chunkiest platform comfortable. Next is Dooney and Burke. I have a whole video asking the question, is Dooney and Burke? better than Chanel. I'll have it linked below, but long story short, this I deliberately got for work so that I could have my iPad fit because I have a huge announcement coming up. So subscribe to get notified and click the bell. The quality, the leather, it's insane. The lining is not like any other company that I've seen before. Canvas, it has leather trim on the inside and it really does protect yourself. And the way that the inside is organized, it's not like any other bag I've ever seen has a key carrier and the hardware is gold and it is American made, which I absolutely love. Every time I go in their store, they have so many different colors and they have the most options and they have different sizes of the same things. So you can really customize your bag along with the strap. It came with an even longer strap so that you can extend it. And I use the small one because I'm very petite. I don't want my bag to swallow me. I thought it was gonna be bulky, but it still is petite enough for me to look elegant and dainty. And that's something I love about them, that even their big bags make you look very elegant. Next is a Hawaiian brand that my dad actually gifted me this jewelry from years ago. I remember the first time he got it from me, he was showing me about pearls. This bracelet, I have the the jewelry box is white and it's cushioned and it's leather and it's incredible it's an incredible jewelry box and it's somewhere here these pearls are pink and you can rub them against your teeth and if they feel like there's sand on them then that's how you know they're real pearls that's what my dad was telling me for i wouldn't shower with it because it's very delicate i was in bed and i was about to sleep with it and i felt it move and i did not want it to get destroyed so i just took it off this is such a precious piece of jewelry that i think we forget how lucky we are these days. How hard it is to get pearls. Like Ceylonese divers would dive to the bottom of the ocean and would walk on the earth and literally walk on the earth in the ocean. Just seeing this in person, I'll definitely take your breath away. I don't care if it doesn't even match what I'm wearing. It makes me so happy. I was not raised to have like expensive jewelry every now and again for a very big celebration, like when I was getting baptized. Now that I think about it, a lot of my a lot of my gifts were from my baptism, <laughs> and that's mostly it. <laughs> and all the jewelry was from my baptism or when I was a very a very, very little baby, and those things don't fit me anymore. It's grown up, but it's still fun and young, and you're still a woman. It's not like dead serious, but it's definitely something special, and I'm wearing it every day because I have found so many cute jewelries that are really high quality i don't know if you can see this anklet it's gold uh i started wearing more jewelry again because i stopped wearing it Th this is especially breathtaking i cannot say enough like how grateful i am for this beautiful gift and that i can look at it and think of the ones i love you know? next is mark jacobs i am a huge fan of daisy specifically and daisy love i have daisy love in my office because i have a perfume in every single room <laughs> because i have so many perfumes and i don't like having way too many things trying to cut down my things i want to use them every day instead of having like a collection of everything and just work on one at a time because i used to think like I need a collection of perfumes and I do have a collection of perfumes, but I know there are people who hoard perfumes, which is fine. That's their thing, but I am almost done with this. <laughs> and this is the second one that I've had. Anything Marc Jacobs does, anything he touches turns to gold. High end designer ones smell too matronly where I think Marc Jacobs is very young and fun and fruity and floral without being like such a grandma scent. Next is Erin Lauda. I have the lip balm. This is the rose lip balm and it is really, really oily. It's delicious. It's like putting Vaseline on your lips. It barely tastes or smells like rose, but it's faint and I love it. And the packaging is very, very beautiful. I have this at my bedside actually. I've bought over and over Erin Lauda's Lilac Path. 
I love lilacs. I <laughs> just, I love flowers. I love the scent of flowers and I love her whole collection of flowers, most of them. So I just love flowers. And it reminds me of where my husband and I used to live in Los Angeles, where there would be a whole row of lilacs freshly planted by the gardeners. The wind would blow in the springtime and it smelled amazing. Like everything Erin does when it comes to hosting, when it comes to fragrance, she knows what she's doing. And I found out she's Hungarian and Jewish. So, Chag Sameach. Next is another American Jew that I absolutely love. Ralph Lauren! <laughs> so this, these are incredible gloves, by the way. I got them recently and I have been using them every single day here in Kentucky, here in Lexington. So first things first is my whole wardrobe. <laughs> is Ralph Lauren. Essentially, my everyday wear, my work wear, my cardigans that are comfy. Quality is insane. I recently got a rib top that is so comfortable, so high quality. The thread is incredible and it's very, very flattering. So I feel like Ralph Lauren can do no wrong in my eyes because every single year he comes out with a new rendition of what he's done before, a timeless classic. And he sets trends, like he revives trends. I don't know how he does it. He does like the same style every time where it's like very American English countryside slash city meets American frontier. It's a it's a wonderful brand that has a lot of old, our old heritage. What makes him so cool is that you can wear anywhere and the style is recognizable. The style is timeless. The style is any age and even their kid stuff is really cute and it's literally the adult things but shrunk. I'm starting to look at Ralph Lauren bags and I'm getting really tempted because he has some really cute designs that are, it's just like French luxury cannot compete with American style. I know French luxury is like, oh, it's haute couture, but when it comes to everyday style, you can't mess with Levi Strauss. You can't mess with that technology that uh, revolutionized farming. Next is Wyeth. So this hat is foldable. <laughs> This comes in different colors. Um, this is sold out from all the stores that I saw. I was looking at it recently, but you can get it on eBay and you can get it online. If you search for it, I'll have it linked below somewhere, somehow. Everything here is linked below. This is a foldable hat I got in blush to go to the Galapagos Islands and it is so elegant. I look so smart. I look so dressed up and polished. It's also very casual. Personally, would wear this with like a ruffled dress off the shoulder or even what I'm wearing right now. You need as much sun protection as you can. And I don't like having shades on my face. This is very breathable. Your head doesn't get super sweaty. 55% cotton, 45% polyester. They have so many cool hats and I really love hats, especially if you live in a hot area. I think Wyeth is a really good company. Next is Anthropology. So I didn't know that this hat was by Anthropology brand. 60% paper, 40% polyester. I love paper hats. So cute. It's a rancher, but you can also wear it to the Kentucky Derby or any type of Derby if you're going to Ascot. This is definitely a wonderful sun hat if it's a hot day and you're gardening. Hats finish your outfit. Bought several hats from Anthropology. They are always really high quality, long lasting. I've had this for over a year now. Anthropology is a great place for clothing and beauty and wellness and fun games and gifts for kids. Decor, as a heads up, I would avoid their furniture because it's expensive for what you're getting. It's not worth it. Go to a place that has solid wood. Go to a place that treats you well, that is dedicated to furniture because they don't care about you. They don't know anything about furniture and those customer service people are not hired to know anything about furniture. So if you wanna go to a furniture store, go somewhere else. Here are some more brands I also wanted to mention. The first is Reformation. This is the first brand that I found out was sustainable and that was like their big shtick. Like they have reports every quarter of how much pollution they created, how much water they saved. The store updates you in real time. The Reformation is LA based. Love them because they're very LA style. They have like the LA cool girl. That was my life for a very long time. I feel very close to this brand and I have some reviews linked below. I have some lifetime dresses, something that I will use for the rest of my life and it helps me shop carefully fully by having timeless styles that are updated. The next is Revolve. Revolve is based in California in a place called Cerritos, way far outside of LA County. It's a really nice place to live. My friend growing up lived in Cerritos, so we would always walk around the whole city or take the cow, the Cerritos on wheels. Every time I think of Revolve, I think of Cerritos. They also have a Revolve store in LA, however. They have so many cool brands. I feel like they're a bit trendy though, but they have really elevated trends. Also have a lot of timeless things, like I got my Zach Posen bag, another American brand that I absolutely love. Next is my American department stores. So first off is Nordstrom. I literally check the Nordstrom app like every day. They have everything from beauty, they have men's gifts, they have appliances, they have home decor. I mostly go there for beauty and women's. And then Bloomingdale's, it's a, it's a place where I get 
really high-end accessories and gifts and they have a huge selection. I used to shop at Bloomingdale's all the time because I lived next to one, which is not a good thing for my wallet. And then next is Neiman Marcus. I love Neiman Marcus because they have the most incredible furniture and home decor and dining sets and I'm planning for the house that we're building. I'm going to Neiman Marcus for a lot of the things for my house because they have a ton of timeless, really classic, um, but still fun and interesting pieces of furniture. So as you can see, my Le Corbusier here, I love Arky design. This is a leather sling chair. They have everything. They have like Ralph Lauren home. The final brand here that I'm going to mention is Tiffany. I like the really dainty pendants because I think they're very feminine. I literally shower with this. It's 100% gold for the most part. It's not plated gold but if you melt it down only like a certain percentage of it is actually gold i love collecting silver and gold and gifting it through the holidays too and tiffany is one of those heritage brands where it's like if you give a gift that's tiffany or if you have anything tiffany a memory that lasts forever you can hand it down generation to generation and i love those legacy gifts always a good idea to think and purchase long term i hope you like this let me know what you think in the comments below. Any other American brands I did not mention that you think are of the utmost quality so that we can all check them out. I'm definitely gonna check them out myself because I'm always looking for the new brands, no matter independent, no matter if they're huge already. Give this a like so that more people can find this, especially if people are also interested in American brands. Follow me on LTK at Gia G Dixon and my Instagram is exactly the same. I'm gonna start posting on Instagram again because I post so much on LTK. I post daily style and beauty. I thought, you know what? I need to start posting it on Instagram because I don't. I post every single day on LTK. The stuff I'm posting there is incredible or I feel like the people on Instagram would appreciate it a little bit more. Also visit my blog, giagdixon.com. I'll have everything linked below so you can check it out. Explore, explore the description box because there's so much for you to uncover. If there's any type of content you want to see, I'm more than happy to take requests. I'm trying to connect with you guys as much as possible. So if you connect with me, then I know what you guys want. What you think in the comments below, don't be shy. I post every day in December at 7 a.m. New York time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.